just drinking some Arabian Egyptian coffee with spices. Let's taste it. It's Ashley from First Coast Foodie Crew. I took the foodie crew tour on the road. We went out the country, went to Egypt for two weeks, and uh, we joined the Real Egypt Tours and uh, with Samir, and it was so much fun. So take a look at some of, some of the activities that we did while we were there. Love it. <laughs> no, you got to say. This is Ashley, the first post foodie crew. We are in Egypt drinking some Arabian Egyptian coffee with spices. Let's taste it. That is really good. It's a little sweet. It has a lot of flavor in it. And we have the coffee beans here. And then the spices are here. And can you tell us where you get your coffee from? Your coffee beans from? Where are the coffee beans from? From Brazilian. Brazilian. Okay. Colombian and Ethiopian. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're having fun on our tour with Samir. Go back to the camera. If you're wondering how we got to Egypt, it's because Keith and Carol runs Shed Light Properties. And they did a tour with me in Jacksonville, Florida and invited me on one of their trips around the world. And Egypt was the destination, so that's how we ended up there. So we are now walking through one of the oldest um, markets in Egypt and it was so many people around. I mean, you could see that some of the beautiful gold in some of the shops. Um, I mean, everything was being sold from food, produce, bread, from handiwork, items, spices. It was just intoxicating, the amount of people. So the food was um, delicious, of course. We had a variety of food from many different restaurants, um, a lot of vegan dishes, chicken and beef, um, fresh herbs, um, a variety of different places we went and everything was delicious. Here we are flying over Qatar. We were unable to get out and sightsee because of COVID, but um, it was still beautiful to see it from the top. What we liked about Real Egypt Tours was that um, they made sure that they gave us a lot of history about everywhere we were going. Um, they were very knowledgeable. They made sure that um, we had someone from the tour escort us everywhere. And at times there was a security detail with us. All of the accommodations on the um, tour 
uh, was excellent. We stayed at very nice accommodations, um, hotels, resorts that were um, very comfortable. So definitely thank Royal Egypt Tours for their uh, hospitality. There are camels. Definitely one of the things I had on my bucket list was to um, ride a camel through the desert, and I'm happy I was able to do that. So we went fishing with some local, local fishermen in the Nile. Um, that was really cool to see how uh, just generations of um, men and children uh, fish in the Nile. And it was very nice to kind of be in it, actually in a boat in the Nile while they're fishing. It was cool. So we're going through a village right now, a Nubian village. The children were very curious about us, very friendly. The people were awesome. Um, uh, that cooking uh, oven? The bread the women um, baked was delicious. Didn't eat any sauce or dipping, <laughs> dipping um, you know, things with it. It was really good. So here we are uh, driving into um, the Valley of the Kings. Very nice to be able to walk down into some of the tombs to see inside. All uh, life as some astronomers believe. So the ancient Egyptians believed in the quantum light is from the jar of water or the, uh, the, the water of the night at the far end uh, where the source of the night. So that jug of water brought the one and the one brought the ten. I was so amazing to see the structure. They were so large. It was just hard to believe that without modern day technology that there were people who were able to build those structures so large. That was incredible. So here the uh, locals are showing us um, alabaster and how they shape and form it. And here is uh, some of our hotel. Um, I think this is the Moven Pick. So we had a lot of fun. It was great. Definitely shout out to Real Egypt Tours and also to uh, Shed Light Properties for uh, inviting um, other people on their trips to see the world. And hopefully you'll see where we're going next. Bye.